Welcome back. Today, General Motors reported a stronger than expected fourth quarter with record level profits in 2022. Now, many recent investments have come to mid Michigan, and our Nate Salazar is at the Grand River Assembly plant today. He spoke with officials and workers to see what the outlook is going into the new year. Let's have a talk about the next generation of Lansing Assembly. Coming out of 2022, GM says it led the U.S. auto industry in total sales and had largest year-over-year -year market share. Today, the company thanked its workers who have had a tough time in recent years dealing with work stoppages, layoffs, and part shortages, and helped GM take the crown back from Toyota. As a result, workers will receive a profit-sharing check of up to $12,750. GM says that's a $2,000 increase from 2021 and the highest workers have ever seen. It has a direct impact on the, on the workers, obviously, but also the community. So, you know, we're really um, pleased that it's come out that way. After recent investments at plants in Flint and Bay City, GM officials say the company is better prepared to gear up with even more production of electric vehicles. GM added that both the Delta Township plant and Grand River plant had really good years in terms of sales, specifically the Cadillac V-Series. I just can't say enough for what they've done to lift the brand, to lift the Cadillac brand and put us back on the map. And that's all thanks to the efforts of... Uh, the tremendous teams that we have in Lansing. GM says its commitment to going all EV by 2030 is still a goal, especially with a $1 billion battery plant set to break ground right down the road. Workers here in Lansing are excited for what's to come. That just provides more jobs and more opportunities and it gives us a footprint in the community. It's just making Lansing a better area. Here for you in Lansing, Nate Salazar, 6 News.